Hi everybody, this is Susan with Furry Feline Monsters of Mass Destruction and I just wanted to uh, make this very short video um, in comparison to some of my others <laughs> to uh, show you how it worked out to put a viewer's recommendation into practical application and in doing so I've realized that the fountains themselves are actually kind of splashing a little bit so I think that contributed but nonetheless we love the fountains and so do the kitties and the plastic this is their first I just now set it up so this is their first looky-loo at their fountains being inside a tub. In the earlier video, I kept call, trying to call it a plastic tray. But this is the tub from the shelf in the laundry room that I already had, so I sanitized it and put the fountains inside it. And it just so happened that the depth of the tub worked out just great in relationship to the depth or height, I suppose, of the fountain. So did that work out pretty well first time around? Uh, seems we have a satisfied customer. Thank you to everyone who responded to my plea for help. I need input. And this was uh, a great solution. Um, and it didn't cost a dime something I already had on hand. So, so far we only have water in the tub and any moisture you see there is just from me having cleaned the uh, mud tray. I decided to leave it there for now anyway. We'll see about the boot tray. But, so, all right. Lady Opal Moon. Utah. <laughs> Sorry, Betty. And I gotta get, I'm an old lady, I gotta get up. Ooh. Ah. And summer. And Wells, thank you everybody for giving us recommendations on how to solve the problem. What are you doing back there? I see I need to clean that cabinet top. All right. Anyway, so it all worked out great. Right. Thank you, everybody, for your recommendations. And I think we have a solution. This has been Susan with Furry Feline Monsters of Mass Destruction.